Another big story tonight on 11 out of 11, a devastating fire it leaves a tri-state mother and her son with nothing but each other. Firefighters say it was all started because of a contractor. Nine on your side's John Genovese has the story from Butler County. Well, Christina King got the call on Monday to get back home. When the flames settled down, this is what she was left with. Burnt blankets and other charred belongings. Fire officials say a worker was spraying an aerosol can too close to the water heater, setting this place ablaze and destroying thousands of dollars worth of her stuff. You know, it's just crazy. It was a lot to take in. Still is. Two days later, standing in front of what was her Middletown home. It's even hard to be here, Noah. You know. We can't stay here. The outside looks okay, but inside Christina King documenting the damage on her cell phone. Since I haven't been able to go through anything, you see what's salvageable. I mean, pretty much everything is gone at this point. So I'm looking at like nine or ten thousand dollars in possessions. Fire officials say a worker hired by the landlord was spraying an aerosol can too close to the water heater, sending flames above the 19th Avenue home where Christina was living with her three-year-old daughter and seven-year-old son. You can tell that it affects them because he keeps mentioning all the stuff that he lost and how he wants to sleep in his own bed and things. Christina says she paid for renter's insurance last month, but the policy was never activated. That's kind of up in the air, too. With most of her stuff now covered in soot, she's being told she's out of luck and stuck doing what she can. Try and overlook it and focus on getting us in a place and getting our stuff back together. Now, Christina says the Red Cross is helping her and her kids stay at a hotel for the time being. I did try giving that landlord a call, but he said he had no comment on what happened. For now, in Middletown, John Genovese, 9, on your side.